Jones Fitness and Outdoor today uh, on the inside. But I want to talk about uh, the Runkeeper app. And I am a paying customer since a while back and I use one of their programs. So that's what I'm going to talk about. I use the half marathon plan and I have done a couple of weeks. I'm just going to tell you the overall layout of the program so you know uh, where I am at. And also I'm going to tell you how I came into the program. So I did not start from zero. So you have four phases and it is a calculated backwards from the date I am running a half marathon. Yeah, since uh, it, it is calculated backwards from the date I am running a half marathon until the starting point. So you have four phases as I said. The first one furthest away from the competition is the preconditioning phase that is five weeks 15 sessions so three a week uh, phase two get faster four weeks 12 sessions so it's three times a week you run actually from the start to the finish uh, third phase go for further and the that's four weeks and the last phase is three weeks so in total you have 9, 13, 16 weeks yeah and the last phase like the finer adjustments three weeks nine sessions and I think the last one there yeah is the actual race so anyway guys I got into this a couple of weeks ago my first session was May 7th and uh, my race is 24th of August I think. Uh, so when I got into this I was able to run 10 kilometers. I've been training for I mean forever but running now every week for the last six months more or less my aim was 10 kilometers a week usually i tried to do it in two or three sessions that was my goal anyway my aim but usually i only had one or two sessions a week and i combined it with regular gym training but now since the beginning of may i focus on the running and gym is second priority so that's like once a week maybe or twice depending okay so I'm just gonna go over the weeks how they look but as I said I was able to run 10 kilometers in one session without stopping low tempo that was my and is my priority is run slow control the pace and I'm able to get the distance I want so if you, if you run slow enough you can run really really far so okay but week one just to get the layout because the, the layout is the same throughout this phase uh, session one intervals and they were I mean not too too hard the first one kilometer and they have a tempo I think that's calculated backwards from my the tempo I want at the race so anyway this is really slow but usually I go for about at somewhere like 730 to 8 minutes per kilometer and that would mean let's say 8 minutes per kilometer that would be like 12 12 and a half per mile so it is kind of slow but anyway the so first session interval start one kilometer at this slow tempo then you have eight intervals and uh, yeah it's about a six minute per kilometer uh, tempo 
30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and then you have a cool down, one kilometer. And I am of course checking my phone, that's why I'm looking down. Then you have a uh, three kilometers relax running for session two, and that's yeah, just a slow run, three kilometers. And in the app, they suggest you do it Tuesday, Thursday, and so first session, the interval, Tuesday, the relaxing run on Thursday, and you have a distance run on Saturday. You can, of course, you can, this can, you know, shift, you can move it a day back or forth, but it's like any program, strength or running, you need probably a day in between. At least you're gonna, you're gonna need it after a couple of weeks. But then okay, the distance run for the weekend was five kilometers. So because I came in able to run 10, that was not very hard. Then week two, basically the same intervals on Tuesday, relaxing run on Thursday, and then you have a six kilometer run on the weekend. So that just added one kilometer. Next week again, basically the same. The intervals, they change between 30 seconds and a minute on off. Uh, but okay, week, what do we say, week three. Intervals, 3.1 kilometer, three kilometer relaxing run, and then you have eight kilometers on the weekend. That was my last week. So now, week, uh, Four, I guess, yes. I've done 4.9 kilometers intervals this Tuesday, yesterday. Felt really good, first time, and I was longing for more intervals, like a longer session, because these three kilometer sessions, they, you don't have time to do much. I mean, you warm up one kilometer, you do your intervals, and I have one kilometer cool down. So, but now I had two kilometers warm up, 1.5 kilometers cool down, and I have five one minute sessions. And the, the, the interval tempo was 5.55 minutes per kilometer, and the recovery was slow. I mean, what the app says is like 9.45 per kilometer, but that's walking, so I'm not doing that. I am still, you know, jogging. Now, week four, distance, okay, I have three kilometer relax on Thursday, that's tomorrow, and 10 kilometer distance for the weekend. Next week, last week of this phase is intervals, will be same total distance, but it will be 30 second intervals instead of one minute, three kilometer relaxing run, and then I have an 11 kilometer distance run on the weekend, and that's gonna be just amazing, I'm sure. So, so far guys, I'm not gonna go into the the next uh, phase here, because I haven't done it yet. I mean, I can look at it, but you can as well, if, if, you, if you want to. So, but this, uh, the programming with the interval phase or interval session early in the week then a relaxing run and then a distance run works fine i have time to uh, recover i do not find it uh, challenging well it is challenging enough not too much and since my experience the last 10 years i'm gonna tell you something uh, now when I run, sometimes I get like a, a badge from in the RunKeeper app. It says your fastest 5k or your fastest this and that. And usually I think it's like the, the fastest 3 or 5 from every distance like. And it's like your fastest 5k, that might be like between 4 and 6. Anyway, so I get this like fastest uh, your personal record. Usually that's just the last 10 years, 
because in 2014 I hadn't yet started powerlifting and I was a faster runner back then then my body weight was probably like 100 kilos or something like that 220 pounds now I weigh 118 I have lost 10 kilos I think since yeah since last fall fall of 2023 now it's May 2024 so 118 kilos that would mean like 235 maybe in pounds I guess something like that anyway so back to the challenging uh, the, the level of challenge so I enjoy the program because it is it is when I say challenging enough it is because I know that if you go all out on every session you're not going to be able to recover so usually I feel like I have more to give and that's good I try to keep it, keep my distance, let's say I go for an interval, maybe I add some distance in the end, maybe, but basically just because I'm not yet home. Let's say I run for the warm up distance, I do my intervals and I start to run home. I mean maybe I have like a, a kilometer left, I'm gonna run it, I'm not gonna walk it. And uh, if I do the relaxing run. I have added distance to that, but not by much. Let's say instead of three, I've done four. And the distance run, I, tr I, I have not added anything. I tried to keep that because it's easier to plan the, the fixed distance runs. The, the interval might be like, you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. You, you, you don't really know, depending on how you feel for your interval when you're like on the higher uh, pace if you feel really good you're gonna get further and so you, you're gonna get further away from home probably depending on how you plan your route but so I mean so far I managed to keep up to the program it's gonna be really fun to go into the next phase the one I think I said it was go further. Let's see. I said I was not gonna go into it. No, it, it's uh, get faster is next phase. So then we're gonna do more intervals and tempo training and the long runs are gonna be more like with the, the like a goal for the for the pace. So a speed goal. That's going to be really fun because now I feel also with the intervals that I am able to push for a minute and I also feel like when I go for my distance runs because I, as I told you my goal has been to run slow and because if I keep my tempo low enough I can go far. So now I, I, when I start to run this is just my you know my idea or the way I think. I have a fo my foot on the brake. So let's say you drive an automatic car and you let go of the brake, car starts moving but you keep your foot on the brake to keep it slow. That's how I see my running. And now when I want to go faster I don't see it uh, like I am speeding or using the throttle. No, I'm just uh, removing my foot from the brake so to say and you know sometimes these like ideas and thought patterns they don't matter but sometimes they do and my experience from powerlifting that's usually like training programs are usually based around for me anyway based around squats so as long as I do my squats and I can finish them, everything else is going to be fine. And I see some similarities because then if I keep my, keep my focus on the squats and I do what I'm supposed to do and not do crazy amounts more, everything else is going to be fine. And that's how I feel about the, this running program. 
as long as I keep my keep my cool and don't run too fast, don't run too far, don't run too often. It's gonna be fine. And I have expectations that uh, that the program is gonna take care of me, and hopefully I can rely on it all the way until race day. And for me, the half marathon that I'm gonna do is actually so. This is a half marathon done program but I'm gonna run 18 kilometers but it's more or less the same and my race is in the mountains so I have like I think 550 meters of elevation so that's gonna be super fun of course as anyone can understand guy almost 240 pounds 120 kilos 45 years old power lifter gonna run in the mountains of course he's gonna enjoy it Everyone can understand. No need to say it. No need. Anyway guys. Just wanted to record. For my benefit. I can go back and watch it. And for your benefit as well. Yeah, so if you made it. Through all of this. It's like. I don't know. Like 15 minutes or more. Of me talking and sipping coffee. If you made it through, I thank you, and until next time guys, improve, run, lift, do whatever you like, get outside, have fun, enjoy life, and stay safe. Thank you for watching.